Hey everyone, Ava Pyle here, and today we're going to be looking at another Mattel's Masters of the Universe figure, and this time it's Eva Lynn, and she is from the, well they were calling it the Modern Series, but I don't think that applies anymore. Uh, I think this also went by 200X, I'm not positive, uh, there's nothing on the package that says exactly which line it is. I do like this packaging. Uh, if you look here, it has this uh, piece of cardboard, Master Universe. It's actually over another one that says it. it makes it look like it's popping out. And if you look down here, it's a see-through little picture. So you can see the background still, but it has her holding her staff and the dagger. With the twisting action going on. But yeah, so that's her staff right there. Nice and long. I like that dagger. Let's turn it around. All right, on the back, you get a picture of her again, holding all her stuff. And let's see, over here, number one, Magic Staff, and Dagger, number two. You can see her with the twisting action there, and twisting action there. And on the bottom, you can see a bunch of other people. So if we start on the left, you got Ice Armor He-Man, Buzz Off, Manny Faces, Mega Punch He-Man, Evelyn, Whiplash, Too Bad, and Fire Armor Skeletor. All right, so why don't we get her out of the package so we can uh, take a closer look. All right, well, here's Eva Lynn out of the package. And I have to say, this is a very good looking Eva Lynn figure. Uh, now, this was sculpted by the Four Horsemen and part of the Masters of the Universe 200X. This is from the line that came out to go along with the show that came out about the same time, uh, from 2002, 2004. Now, she wasn't one of the first, or she wasn't in the first wave of figures that came out. I think she was actually in wave five. I could be wrong about that, but uh, it's just a great looking f uh, figure. I love the face on it. I like all the different color purples. She has dark purple, light purple, like a lavender, then a regular purple. Then she has... This silver gray for the headpiece. She's got black all over her. And then her skin, unlike other uh, evil lens, isn't a yellow and it's not flesh color. It's like this grayish, kind of like a grayish purple almost. And she did come with accessories. So she has that dagger. That's a nice looking dagger. You can see details on the blade there little etchings and she's got her staff and this is a pretty long staff it's a yeah it's her height now it's a kind of this it's a flexible plastic I mean it'll snap if you try to bend it any more than that but up here it's soft rubber but yet I don't like that part there it, that's kind of weird. They can just... I don't know why they couldn't made it all the same plastic. But, oh well. Alright, so why don't we talk about some of the details. Well, if you notice, she has a little necklace there. Or a little collar. And that's movable. It's a separate piece. And she also has the collar to the, her jacket or whatever that is. And that's also flexible. Comes down. And it, it's really great how even this, the back part of her skirt, that's flexible. Up here it's flexible. And then she has all these like little skull there. She's got another skull on the top. And she has all these little like little uh, flaps or pieces of uh, the leather costume she has going around. I mean, this is just a great looking figure. Even her, yeah, on her boots, the knee pad area, those have some skulls on them. This thing is just awesome looking. She has like goth boots on. Yeah, I'm just in love with this figure. It's a great looking figure. And it's easy to stand. Her knees don't bend, so 
She can't really have a whole lot of different action poses. But her, she does, even though her knees can't bend, as long as you get her legs just right, I mean, she's going to stand fine. She's not going to tip over or anything like that. All right, so why don't we talk about some articulation? So we got her head. That can go all the way around. She can't look up or down. I mean, you can move it, but it goes right back. She can't tilt. She got her shoulder areas. And, you know, that can go all the way around, 360. She can put her arm up pretty high. She can't move her elbows. There's no joint there. But she does have the wrist area. Well, right here, actually on the forearm. So that can move. Her hands do not. Not a whole lot of posability with this figure, but it looks so great it doesn't need it. You got the waist, and that has that kind of twisting action when you let go. She just twists right around. And it can go in either direction. And then we got, if we keep going down, we got the legs. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, bendable because of the skirt she's wearing. Kind of limits that. So she can't do a split. Uh, she can move her leg forward about mm, not that much. That's like that for both legs. Like I said, the skirt gets in the way of it. And you can't go back. Uh, it's actually not because of the skirt. It's just the way it's made. Uh, it doesn't allow you to go back any more than that. All right, and then you got the knees. Uh, they don't bend, like I said. Knees, elbows, nothing. Hands, nothing. Feet, they don't move either. So pretty much the only thing you can move is the legs forward and back just a little. You can go to the sides a little. You got the shoulders. You got some of the uh, arm right here. And the head. Oh, and the waist. But I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, I just love the way the figure looks, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of overlooking the fact that she can't move much. But she did come with those, you know, the dagger here. Just pop that in her hand. So you just put the dagger in there, and they can go in either hand. It doesn't really matter. And the staff is the easier one to get in because you can just go from the top, slide it down. Till it's nice and snug. And there you go. Tur with her stuff, and then you can just like that. Have her attack with them. I really love the sculpt of the face. I think it's one of the best ones for the evil lens. But I've only seen the the, uh, the original line, Origins, and Super Sevens. Not sure, but I think the next one I'm gonna get is gonna be the classics. I mean, there's really not that many lines to get them for anyway she just looks amazing i love all the detail she has on her and i'm a real fan of uh the skin tone they used for evil in here now i've only seen a couple episodes of uh the 200x series so i don't remember if her skin is like that on the show i'm assuming it is but i mean i just love this thing especially like even on the back, like the way it has uh, the layers going down for the back of the vest jacket. That just looks amazing. Alright, well that's just been my review on Mattel's Masters of the Universe 200X series, or modern, Evil Lynn. And you know, if you have any comments or questions, you can feel free to leave them down below. And hey, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.